SR, BG, and Bad Luck Chuck. Thank you for being a friend, your pal in the comfort. Thank you for being a no. Bad Luck Chuck is not my friend. You see, Bad Luck Chuck used to be my friend. Bad Luck Chuck is a friend that you get when you vibe and love. You see, the Most High put people in everybody's life to come, break generational curses, to be the chosen one in their life. There's people in your family that's the chosen one, man. They really do love you. And if you listen to them, the wisdom, the downloads that they get, man, your whole life would change, but we treat those people bad. And when we treat those people bad, the Most High removes those people out of our lives and replaces them with bad luck. Chuck, you see your mama, she was giving you all the wisdom and you got some cotton, you put it in your ears, man. Your mama, she got tired of talking to you, man. And you replaced your mama with bad luck. Chuck, this is another type of person. They came out of nowhere sometimes. Sometimes you find them at your job. Sometimes you find them at the plasma center, the crack house, your school. Sometimes you will find them in the military if you ever go to the military, man. Bad luck Chuck. You see, bad luck Chuck is a portal for demons. And you know what's the cold thing about Chuck? You can't blame me, man. Just like Chucky on the movie. You can't blame him. He didn't do anything. He's your friend to the end. A pal in the con for time, man. That's the cold thing about Chuck. He just be around you. You make Chuck your confidant. Even though Chuck ain't married, ain't never been married. When they was married, if they was married, they divorced now. All they children is running around crazy or they don't have no damn children. But yet, you make Chuck your confidant because you replaced your mama. You replaced the chosen one. You replaced your homeboy that really do love you. That one, that uno, that one pal and confidant. You replaced him because he wasn't worldly. He was boring. He didn't want to go cut a rug. He'd rather go pray for your man. You replaced him with Chuck. Now you get your information for Chuck because Chuck is your pal and your confidant. But guess what? Chuck is a portal for demons, man. Sometimes they come out of nowhere. And they know all the right words, man. They cool. They cool. They never stab you. They never cut you or shoot you. Hit you up over the head. Nah, they cool. Like Chucky. Chucky is just the dog. He's a good guy. Chuck is a good guy. But he's a portal for demons, man. Let me tell you about this Chuck that I know. You see, I found this damn Chuck. Better yet, this Chuck found me. When I was at my lowest, I didn't burn bridges with every single body that tried to help me. So guess what? The most high allow Chuck to come in my life. Chuck is a program, man. A program that opens up a gateway for demons in your life. Before I met Chuck, I was a regular dude. After I met Chuck, I was on crack, man. I was homeless. My whole life changed. And Chuck didn't touch me not one time. Just being around Chuck was a trigger. A trigger for that cocaine, man. It seems like Chuck was the drug also because bad luck Chuck is addictive because bad luck Chuck will listen to you. Like the good guy dog, he just listens. Bad luck Chuck. After I stopped messing with bad luck Chuck, start vibing high, my life started to change, man. I'm telling you, there's people that can be around you. Just being around you, not saying no mean things, not looking at you crazy, just around you. 
And it's a gateway. They are the portal, like a down flesh portal for demons, crack demons, prostitute demons, low vibrating demons. Man, I remember I went into this one woman house. And I didn't like that woman. It was a spiritual not liking. She didn't do anything to me. You hear what I'm saying? I just didn't like the woman. I know why now. And one day she asked me if I can go in her house and help her move some stuff around. I did. And she gave me like a bag of little treats and stuff like that. We was living next door. It was, you know, goodies. You know, after I left that woman house from that day forward for like five months, man, I had an uncontrollable appetite. She was, she was morbidly obese, like my 600 pound life, like, like them type of people. I went up in there, man, and absorbed that damn demon, man, and couldn't stop eating. It was like, I had a hole in my stomach, man, no matter how much I ate. Look, I used to eat. Just so I could eat something else. Like, let me hurry up and eat this cake so I can hurry up and eat them ribs. I, look, I want to digest this food. Let me go take a nap and digest this food so I can put some more. It was like a, a bottomless pit. You hear what I'm saying? So these bad luck chucks, they come. They come because... You, 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 you didn't deny all of the righteous people that the Most High sent for you. Now he stepped back. He take the Holy Spirit out of all of those people, out of your cousins, your mamas, the people who want to, who want to see you do right. And it's only a few. He take that spirit up out of them, sit back and watch what Chuck do. Now Chuck is going to tell you everything because Chuck is running off of a spirit. And this spirit just needs you to be around, just kick it, and then here come the primo, and then here come this sin, and here come the crack cocaine, and you're not thinking, and one day leads to one month and one year, and now you ain't got no damn teeth. Why? Because Chuck, bad luck Chuck, and opened up a damn portal. You on damn meth or blues or something, and you lost all your damn teeth, man. Your mama don't even recognize you now, man. And guess what? When you go down, 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 Chuck is going to be gone. And you're not going to be able to blame him. That's the cold thing on the movie, Child's Play. All of them murders and all of that. And he couldn't blame the damn dog. They was thinking he was doing it. You can only blame yourself because Chuck, he's a good guy. He's your pal and your confidant, man. He'll tell you everything you want to hear. And then he'll show you something, man. He'll show you a little white bag or something or something. Even if he don't show you, see, Chuck is so cold. The, the legions of demons and Chuck is so potent and ready to hop on you like some damn fleas. I call Chuck bad bug bringing ninjas. These demons up in them is so potent, man, that they don't even have to speak of sin or nothing around you. It just comes out so much, man. Years later, when I when I reunited, I'm vibing hot, huh? exercising and everything. I reunited with this bad luck Chuck, right? And you know, in one conversation, I start tasting the good taste of crack in my mouth. Yeah, I got scared. I told my girl, I said, hey, I got to cut this dude off. Why? Because Chuck, bad luck Chuck, is going to come back when you vibing high. Why? Because bad luck Chuck is a trigger, a trigger to the OU. He's like an anchor. And bad luck Chuck can be a woman too. You feel what I'm saying? There's a bride of Chucky. So yeah, bad luck Chuck will come and all of these demons that, that, that know you, that know what you like, that know your weakness, that know your triggers, they'll come and you doing good and Chuck just pop back up. He's not going to say nothing mean. He's going to tell you all the information, 
all the gossip. He gonna say, yeah, man, keep doing what you're doing and stuff like that. He's gonna keep calling y'all, gonna keep calling. You're gonna get them urges. Then you're gonna go out and buy a nickel. Then a dime. Then all of a sudden, you're gonna be looking at Chuck again. He got you again, man. So the solution to all of this is when there's a person in your life that loves you, that's leading you down the right path, the small, narrow path, and they really telling you the information, man, whether it's a white man, a black, a Mexican, whether he's a police officer, your mama, your daddy, your cousin, or if it's just me, man, treat them right. Because if you don't, the bad luck Chuck come. And it's hard to resist bad luck Chuck. See, even though I'm telling you about bad luck Chuck, you still won't be able to resist him, man. He come at a time in your lowest. When you done, when you done burnt bridges with all of the people that'll help you. And they turned their back on you. And now you have nobody to call. When you in a plasma center. When you in an unemployment line. When you applying for SSI or homeless or just down in your luck. Sitting in the park, that person that come and talk to you, that just might be bad luck, Chuck. And you be like, hey, man, come on, man. I'll tell you where well, you can make some money real quick. Where can I make some money? You ever heard of donating plasma? Look, now you donating plasma for the next six, seven years. And you look over and you see bad luck, Chuck. Bad luck chucking somebody else because he's always going around bad luck chucking. I hope you understand what I'm saying because I ain't going to say it no more. Peace.